Phil from Tech for Text. Today we're looking at this Marvo Scorpion MIC-03 Omnidirectional Streaming Microphone. So basically what it is, it's a microphone with a stand and then it's got the guard on the front which stops you making that popping noise which is usually when you either breathe heavily on the mic or maybe a little bit of spit goes on it or whatever um, but it basically protects the microphone from that so it stops the actual uh, popping noise uh, which is a pretty good thing so this thing's got a retail value or at least it's recommended of £35 which sounds pretty good to be honest so for 35 quid, you've got yourself in theory a studio type microphone so we're going to actually test this in a bit and you'll hear the sound recordings at the end of the video to see how good it actually is so let's have a quick look at the box so it says it's got a built-in sound card so that generally to me means it's got usb on there so it's really down to the quality of the sound card what's built into it rather than the sound card you've got built into your PC. So if you've got, let's say, uh, a sound blast, a sound card in there, it's going to bypass that, it's going to use its own sound card, what's built into it to do all the recording. So that could be a positive or negative, depending on how good your sound card is. Uh, OK, it says comfortable use. I'm not too sure what that means. It's not as if you're going to sit on it or wear it, but we'll, we'll see. Um, 270 degree adjustable tripod. So basically you can move the tripod around. Um, so it's pretty straightforward. On the side, not much on that side. On this side, it says 100% pure performance. Uh, ergo design, no driver needed. So that to me means it's plug and play. Uh, Okay, and on the back, you can see again the actual device. It tells you about the professional 3D stereo live sound. Okay, 3D stereo. Okay, that sounds a, little, a bit of a strange one, but uh, okay. Um, I always thought stereo was two channels, so how you get it in 3D, not too sure there, but uh, uh, unless it's some sort of virtualization or something, but it's a microphone. So. It's got a foldable metal tripod, it's also got adjustable stand um, and then it's plug and play. Easy to connect and you've got your different languages down there. Okay, so this is what's in the box. First we'll start with the manual, so we've got the installation guide, which I'm guessing is going to be pretty straightforward. Yeah, safety notes, instructions, work seven, Windows 7, 8, and 9, apparently. Uh, I didn't know there was a Windows 9, but yeah, uh, Windows 7, 8, and 9, and then it's got further down, it says Windows 7, 8, and 10, so I'm guessing that's a typo, or hopefully, because I've definitely missed out on Windows 9, that's for sure. Um, tells you on the back uh, about how to change volumes and set it as a default microphone as well, uh, so it's pretty straightforward. Then you've got the mic itself with the stand already attached. Um, the stand does spread out like that and then your microphone sits like that so that's not too bad of a problem the cable is a standard rubberized cable nothing special not braided anything like that this arm here is where you attach your guard so it just tightens on there we go so, and then you can adjust that guard between the microphone and yourself to stop you knocking the actual mic. Also in there is the sponge what goes over the mic itself, um, which is a little crumpled up. These do generally sort of pop out into shape after they've been out of the box for a while. Um, so one thing you may notice is a, um, a crackling noise if you put that on and then start recording straight away. It's usually where the sponge is actually expanding. So I'd suggest either leaving that off if you wanted to record right away or put it on and then let it rest there for a good while for the sponge to pop into place. Um, but otherwise it looks pretty good. You've got everything there you'll need. You can take the standoff if you wished, 
and it's just basically going to be a screw what goes all the way through here that bit will come off uh, so if you can find a way to mount it into some sort of uh, arm or something you may be able to the microphone itself does come out of this it just slides out like that and then you just thread the cable through and you want it back in it just slides in the middle of these little rubberized ropes which basically hold it in and stop it vibrating um, and it stops it knocking against things and obviously making sounds that you don't want it to so that's good it's quite neat um, and really for 35 pounds you can't really ask for more but the obviously the telltale signs if it's going to be any good is what it sounds like which is what we're going to do now Okay, to give you an idea of what this sounds like, I'm actually using the microphone now. I've got the volume setting set at 100% and it is roughly, I'd say, around about 30 centimeters away from my mouth. So, that saying that, it sounds actually pretty good for a product which is extremely low priced. This microphone, in reality, um, sounds better than some of the ones I've seen on the market like um, there's a trust one I've seen out there which is around about hundred pounds and it sounds better than that you don't have to be as close to the microphone for it to basically hear what you're saying uh, and it's a lot lot better than using a built-in microphone on a webcam or a headset uh, it sounds a lot better